Shout out to all the VIP members watching this full interview on day one. If you're not a VIP and you waited a full year to watch, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a member for just $2.99 a month. And if you haven't subscribed, you already know what to do. Enjoy the interview. <laughs> Ta -ta, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's the vibe, Gang Lee? How you yeah. feeling today, my nigga? Come on, I'm great. I'm great. Uh, we've we been trying to do this for a while. For a minute, bro. We've been playing, yeah. bro. Gangsta. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I seen, you know, I just want to say, like, I seen your work for a while. I seen, and I, I would comment from time to time, just always like giving you like your credit on your energy. Uh, it, you know, do, do you hear that a lot from people? Like, yo. This dude lights up the room. So. Nah, yeah, yeah, I get that a lot from me. They say my energy definitely is spirit left up for me. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what I want for me. That's what I like to do, though. I like this for me. Put smiles on other people's faces for me. Make me happy. Insta. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, I want to start this off by saying, you know, thank you for giving me the opportunity to help tell your story on my platform. You know, right? Rob, gang. Thank you, bro. Right, absolutely. Here on P Films, we try to get the viewers to get to know Tata the rapper, but yeah. also Tata the person. So it might be personal questions, but yeah. it's only to let the people that love you and what you represent get a better understanding of who you are. That's All a right? fact. Let's get it. So before you know, we get to your story, you know, we kind of have to address the, the, the elephant in the room. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know a few weeks ago I, I seen y'all promote. You and Four One y'all started promoting the song. You uh -huh. know? I made a dance to the song. Uh, <laughs> so we right. hear, so we hear it's gonna be called Naughty Bob. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It comes out very controversial. It trends and goes number one on YouTube. Nigga, number one is crazy. Like I know, I know. And then it, and then a it lot of niggas out. don't go number one. You heard? Yeah. A lot of niggas don't even go trending, bro. Absolutely. Gangsta. Absolutely. Number one. You know, though. goes up, comes down. You know, without the label though. You heard? Oh, okay. The label ain't help us with that. They push none, no paid promotion. Niggas went number one, bro. Just the strength of us and our big bros, feel me? Absolutely. Shout out my team, Gangster, right along KVH. That's what's up. That's what's up. T take us back to, uh, you know, 4 one being in the studio. Walk us through, actually, what motivated that song and, and, and how y'all put it all together. How it was created. Not allowed. My son KR. I, I didn't even know, for me. My son KR. We was all in the studio one day, feel me? It was me and him. Kenzo Ball Ray, all of us, we was in the studio and he just played that shit on the fucking thing. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? Mm. I heard the beat, the cast away. I'm like, oh, that shit fire. Yeah. Damn, feel me? Niggas just, just made a dance to that shit, bro, and then niggas put that shit on TikTok, feel me? I was on it first. I hopped on it, feel me? That shit started going viral. Then my son Jen got on it, shot the vid, feel me? Yeah. That yeah. shit went. That, who made the dance? I made the dance, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You know, I make all the dances, you heard? Full one bop. I made the full one bop. I make all the dances, bro. Gangsta. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> you know, I, I do respect that y'all y'all were trending number one. I commend y'all for that, you know? But I'll be honest, that, that song caused a lot of content. Yeah, that shit kind of like, that shit corrupted the world. Like, niggas getting stabbed and shit like that. Yeah, what, what did you think about the backlash, you know, that y'all received after y'all released that song? Not gonna lie, bro. Feel me? It's no, for me, I'm not catching my ass. No remorse for nobody, bro, but like. Niggas, niggas deserve, like, for me, niggas was asking for that, bro, for me. But at the end of the day, for me, that kid never gonna see his mom again, for me. Mm -hmm. Or for me, she never gonna see her, for me. I'm not sure, no more, for me, that shit kinda crazy, like, for me, I'm, I'm looking at that shit a little bit, for me, that shit got taken down, for me. Niggas, that's why I wasn't, niggas wasn't even stressing that, bro. Cause we mm -hmm. don't even, for me, go number one, we gonna do it again, nigga, without dissing. We don't got a diss to be hot, nigga. So, niggas yeah. took that shit down. You fucking legends, nigga. Niggas yeah. went number one, took that shit down, nigga, for me. Yeah. That's a fact. At, at, at any point, did y'all feel like y'all were going too far with the song, or it's kind of like, nah, bro, not gonna lie, no, bro, like, not, not gonna lie, niggas, bro, suck out dick, bro, cause niggas is just mad at us, cause we went the most viral for it, bro, cause niggas is like, feel me, niggas tapping their necks, doing no touch. When niggas is doing that, niggas ain't saying nothing to them. It was not no big deal. Yeah. Just because we went viral for it, niggas just went our dick, bro. When niggas this and it's not an issue, but for me, you go viral for it. For me, yeah. Niggas, I, I, did, I did say that too. I was just like, it felt like around that time y'all released that, a lot of people were picking and choosing. Like, niggas just picking and choosing because fans and shit, you know how the fans yeah. going through, bro. For me, niggas talking about something he was 14. It's niggas that died way younger than that, 12, 13, bro. Niggas, niggas ain't say none of them. Niggas, 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 for me, niggas ain't, for me, but you know how that shit go already. Just fuck the media, bro. Yeah, gangster. I, I seen um Nobody deserved to die though for me. I was deaf on nobody, gangster. Yeah. When y'all see that 
a fan could could be potentially in the in the way of harm, in being harm's way. You know, do y'all? What do y'all think? Bro, not gonna lie, Naughty Bop at your own risk, bro, gangsta. Naughty <laughs> Bop at your own risk, bro. What about that? Niggas out here getting stabbed for that shit, all types of crazy shit. Like, Naughty Bop at your own risk. Niggas know what they doing when they doing that dance, so for me? Yeah. If, for me, if mommy is died, for me, God forbid. And niggas, I see a nigga doing that dance, I'm getting tight too. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. me? So Naughty Bop at your own risk, though, gangsta. You know, that brings me to a, a thought, though, like, how much responsibility does a fan have to have when they're listening to their favorite artists? For me, what if they don't know? Like, there was teachers doing it and police officers nah, doing yeah, it. Nah, yeah, yeah, for me, that shit just went crazy. I don't really know, but for the ones who do know what that shit mean, yeah. Naughty Bob at your own risk, my nigga, gangster. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but like we did say, you know, y'all trended number one. You know, what was that feeling like, aside from the... the bro, I thought that shit was fake. Like, what's that? Yo, bro, not gonna lie, my son, my big bro, he was like, yo, this shit about to hit a man. He, he said, a man in two weeks. I said, nah, give it three days. Gangsta, and I shared a meal in three days. Yeah. That shit started trending at like when it was like 17 hours or some shit like that. I was up the whole night watching that shit go up. I'm like, oh yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, that shit was going crazy. I called everybody. I'm like, we fucking trending. Then like by hours go by, that shit would just like go down and down. Like that shit went to tw- trending 20, trending yeah. 15. That shit hit the top 10. We ain't know that shit. We ain't even think that shit was going to pass like fucking top 20 and no shit like that for me. Yeah. Then she and I should go to 10. Then we seen that shit go to five. Then we seen that shit go to three. You heard? I, I thought it was done at three, you not gonna lie. Yeah. Then that shit went two. Then I shit had one. I'm like, oh nah, what the fuck? Crazy, right? Yo, and that and that and for the people, you know, there have been people who been accused of like buying views or they yeah. try to throw that on y'all. Bro, you know, what do y'all say to that? Because how can you check all the stats, bro? Yeah. If you check all of our views and likes, what the fuck? Niggas never bought no views, bro. Yeah. Even nigga. When we signed too, bro, for me, we ain't even like, for me, we ain't even get started with the label yet. Like, they ain't even really push nothing, nigga. All that shit that we got out was really organic, bro. Like, for me. You can't, you can't, you can't trend number one. Exactly. You yeah, can't buy no fucking yeah. number one trending, nigga. Yeah. Bro, you dumb. You cannot buy that, bro. Niggas talking about some, oh, buying views to pass me, like. Yeah. Now, Come on now, bro. But why, why, um, eventually after, I think, three, four days, the song was taken down? Why was it taken down? Bro, I'm gonna lie, that's some label shit. I'm gonna lie, you gotta speak to the okay, bros yeah. about that. I don't even know. I just woke up, I saw that shit took it down. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. That was, that was like, see, people were saying like it was like a production thing. There was no ownership of the beat or something like that. Yeah, that some Nickelodeon shit, because that, that sample was like fucking like crazy. Like, that's, that's just some backyard and shit. Okay, okay. For me? Yeah, okay. ain't got nothing to do with that though. For me. That gotcha. shit, the beat is crazy though. That's some sample shit. But I don't even know you gotta speak to the big homies about that. For me? Yeah, yeah. The situation between y'all and D, you know, like like the way I feel is like y'all mad talented. I don't really yeah, bro. I don't lie. I want to see everybody win. Option not, bro. Like, yeah, I feel like I, the way I feel, you know, I don't really give my opinion, but I feel yeah. like y'all talented enough where y'all didn't need the song. Yeah, you we, know what I'm saying? Like they need that shit, little gangster. Um, like, but me. I asked myself this: like, how did how did things go from y'all not really knowing them? Y'all not really knowing them to where it gets this intense. They dissed us first, bro. Yeah. They literally dissed us first. It was, it was because y'all were around block work that happened? Bro, not gonna lie. I don't know what the fuck. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, for me, James, they, they dissed us first, bro. If you look at all our old videos, bro, niggas never said nothing about no OI niggas, bro. Like, yeah. you can't go to a song and say these niggas be like, yo, OI oh, can't dissed us first. We was just in the Bronx niggas, for me. Yeah. OG niggas, we never said nothing to those OI niggas, bro. They just started sucking our dick for no reason, bro. For no reason. Then out of nowhere, I see a song. I seen that. I seen the fucking naughty just before that he even passed away. Feel me? Yeah. I seen that shit before he even passed away. Gangsta, okay, so I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Who the fuck is these niggas? Why? Don't, what the fuck we do to these niggas? Yeah. Guys be cool with all them niggas. With, with who the, the? Oh yeah, cause you was cool with Shaw. Yeah, we was for me. Just doing mm-hmm. shit. Niggas just started this. I'm like, see, like, it was unreleased. But I been heard them dissing like, and unreleased tracks, all types of crazy. Shit. I'm like, what the fuck. Shop with these niggas. Yeah. You know what I always ask though? I know y'all are a little bit younger. Like I asked like when when I let, let's say somebody gets this, right? Do y'all ever make a phone call to try to mend the situation before it kinda gets into the songs and it starts to get Them niggas died out of me to a call, bro, gangsta. Like, oh, oh yeah, when you was on the phone with Eda, right? Yeah, yo, you okay. really a lying ass nigga, bro. Niggas said I copped it, bro. Like, come on, bro. I ain't copy. You know when feel me? It was like they ever 
to us some cool and some fan shit. Niggas just want some fan shit, bro. They like, y'all, niggas OIK. We like, nigga, we don't know y'all niggas, but feel me? If y'all want to take it there, we can take it there. I want whatever y'all want, feel me? Yeah. Then niggas just left it at that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Shit. Niggas went to the internet, for me? Shit. Now it's this, for me? Yeah, yeah. damn. But I guess my, my, I was I was kind of angling that could it have been resolved before it got so intense? You know what I'm saying? Probably I don't really know, bro. I'm not a problematic nigga, bro. Yeah. I'm not a problematic nigga at all, bro. Mm-hmm. I want to see everybody get money, feed their moms, do all that shit, bro. I want to see everybody win, bro. I'm a real nigga, bro. Yeah. I don't look for problems, bro. Gangsta. Got but it. if you say something to me, it's up, it's up, bro. Now for me, <laughs> it's violent, gangsta. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I, I know y'all did do the video with Booba, um, and then uh, he ended up doing the dance. No, I wasn't in that video. Okay, okay. I think it was Kyle. Or yeah, I wasn't there. I don't know nothing about that situation. Okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm okay. jacking Booba though. That's my man. Yeah. Gangsta. Fuck. Like all the YouTube shit. That's like my son. I genuinely love that man. Gangsta. Yeah. Speak yeah. every day. Got you. Was he mad? Like about the way that that situation went down? Who Booba? Yeah. Um, I don't even know, bro. Gangsta. He posted some video, I think. Something about for me, he was just addressing the situation because Booba got love for everybody, bro. Yeah. For me, he a real genuine nigga. I fuck with him. For me. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, Gangsta. I, I know, how about Maya? Maya Kenzo. I know um, I kind of heard her. I think it was. I know you did a song with her four or five months ago. Um, oh, yeah. Let me see. Uh, Maya first. I know her first for me. Yeah. The I mean, first I, song I seen was, was the, the Formula. The f- formula. The, for- the formula. I'm gonna formula. Be formula. <laughs> the formula. <laughs> the formula. The formula. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of when I was made aware of who she was. You know, how did how did y'all meet? How did you meet her? And, and what was that? It was on some so like on some social media. She, she like for me, I posted some shit on Snapchat. She said something. I posted like a trailer or something. She said that she was fire. Okay. She was telling me she. I seen her post a trailer. I'm like, oh, she right. Say that. Yeah. I'm like, yo, pull up to the stool. Before yeah. we even was like lit. Like Maya, Maya, for me, Maya was there like right before we got lit. Yeah. Like probably like a week before we dropped four and cipher. Okay. Gangsters, she pulled up for me, the tracks and shit. Bro, not gonna lie, fuck all that media politics shit for me. I ain't for me. It's no love lost for Maya, bro. Keep me for me. Yeah. I'm four one for real though. You heard? I'm really like four one, but it's no love lost for her, bro. Like for me, gangster. Mm-hmm. Fuck the media and all the politics, bro. You know when she was like, um, you know she's not, she doesn't. She doesn't kind of support the whole Naughty Bob thing, whatever. What did you think when you seen that video? For me, I, for me, the post, I don't really know. The post know. video. Feel me, the post was just like, I just looked at it like, oh. I mean, because it was like, Nate, the bro showed it that shit like, damn, like, she basically saying like, for me, that's on the, for me, if we, if you gang nigga, whatever my man's on, whatever, whoever on in the gang, we all supposed to be on, bro. We all family, nigga, that's how we're supposed to be. I don't think, I don't think nothing should have been said on the media for me. Yeah. Like, on both, like, for me, nothing should have been said on the media. Doesn't if change. we really gang, for me, we could talk about it, for me. Nothing got to go to the media, because that's some shit, for me. Yeah, go down here. Two, two questions. Is she, did she still consider herself 4-1 at the time she said that? And does things change being that she's a woman? What you mean? Like, as far as, for the simple fact that it's kind of like, I know you said, once you gang, whatever my man's is on, I'm on. But does that ever change being that she's a woman? No, you know what the hell? You gang, you gang, nigga. Mm. For me, you gang, nigga. And them niggas, niggas see you, they gonna probably try to violate you too, nigga. Yeah. Being a girl, girls don't get no passive. Girls yeah. getting clapped too. Yeah. For me. It, is she still for one or? Nah, I don't really think so. For me, nah. Okay. But for me, no love lost, bro. Gotcha. James, right. I want to see her win. She a star. Yeah. Let's talk about um. Let's talk about your story though. Where yeah. is Tata from? I'm from Brownsville, bro. Okay. Gangster. Yeah. Talk a little bit about um, growing up. What was that like for you? I'm not going to sit here and say shit was hard. I, I, I feel me. I was in the trenches. Like, my mom's been at work. Nigga, shout out my mom's. Nigga, left out of death. I didn't do anything for my mom's. Growing up, for me. Feel me? Like, growing up, shit ain't really hit me. Like, it was just a lot of fun and old, old games. When you get older, you really got to worry about shit, paying attention to shit now. Like, yeah. Growing up, all this shit was fun. They used to go outside. You get older, you gotta watch behind your back, ops, all that, like all types of crazy shit, for me. Yeah. Like, growing up, for me. But like, niggas out that shit now. Yeah. Me? Niggas out the hood. Yeah. How did you get to being in Brownsville, chilling, 
eventually pursuing the music. My uncle, bro, my uncle used to throw these shows and shit, right? Yeah. Shout out 718 Experiment, bro. He used to throw these shows and shit. And then, like, I wanted to, my, my man's performed at one of the shows, Gangsta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to perform at one of the shows. He like, I ain't say that. He took me to the studio. We did that shit. I performed at one of the shows. And then, feel me, after that, I stopped rapping on for like, like two, three years. Why was that? I don't know, like, I was playing basketball and shit. Okay. Like, I was a kid, like, in sixth grade. Gotcha, gotcha. Like, I stopped rapping for like two years, started going back to the studio, eighth grade and shit. And then, I really started rap, started really taking that shit seriously. I got my heart broke, gangsta. Shout out that bitch, though, because, you know what I mean? <laughs> Without her, I wouldn't be who I am today, gangsta. Shout out her. Word. She violated me, bro. Went home. That shit <laughs> hurt, bro. That shit not good. What like, you mean, like, how she broke your heart? Was she just left you or she cheated? I don't, I don't even want to speak about that shit, man. <laughs> just know that. That bitch violated me, bro. Jay said that bitch violated me. We was young, though, you heard. Well, if she I want to see her win. Now, she mad as hell, man. I don't know, but <laughs> I want to see her win, too, you heard. I hope she's doing good. Yeah. All that. But yeah, so you get your heart broken, you go home with your right verse. You, you get I broke some shit that night. Uh -huh. I went to the studio, I put the auto tune on my voice. For me, that's what I really for me. I was yeah. niggas don't know I was really rap singing before I was rapping, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Gang stuff. Went went to the studio, cooked that shit up, shot my first music video drop. After that, I just kept dropping, bro. Yeah. Feel me? Then eventually my son KR hit me. Me will come to the stool. After that, zinked up. My son D already knew KR and shit. We yeah. all zinked up. We 41. Gotcha. Oh, gangster. All right. Yeah, you know, and, and, and how do you go from that to meeting um, you know, KVH and Touch and, and my son Ant. My yeah. son Ant. Um, Touch, they, they family, whatever. For me, I knew Touch first. Like my son Touch found me, had me when I was nothing. You heard? Shout out Touch and Mill. You heard? Had me when I was nothing. I had nothing. I had no followers, no nothing. You heard? My son yeah. found me. He was grinding, nigga. Every day going a little shit. Feel me? He was grinding, grinding, grinding every day, nigga. My son FR too. Shout out FR, big KVH shit. Then I started chilling with FR, whatever. Then. We, um, I introduced him to KR. KR joined the team. It's going yeah. crazy. Jen Jen joined, and right, and after that, for me, we just went skyrocket, bro. Yeah, I think the first time we seen all y'all together, I was like, all right, this is something. It was when when, when y'all dropped yeah, out yeah. the cipher. Oh yeah, the cipher was that that yo that was dead ass the plan though. Niggas like yo, this shit about that yeah. mail. And that was dead ass the plan. It was like, for me, the plan was always yo, if one of us get through. All of us is rushing through the door, nigga. Yeah. KR, shout out KR, bro. Love him for life, nigga. He got laid. He was doing the TikTok shit. He was going viral. Feel me? And then after that, we all did the song. And then, like, for me, the clout went to all of us. Yeah. Wait up. KR really a real nigga, though, bro. Because for me, even the label shit, like, niggas ain't want. Niggas ain't want me or Jen, bro. That nigga, for me. He could have did a whole solo deal, you heard? Yeah. But for me, he ain't do that, bro. Real nigga shit. Say, nah, let's get the goof shit. Got yeah. way more bread, all that, you know? Yeah. Gangsta. Right. You know, I feel like a lot of y'all did so many collaborative songs. Yeah. But I feel like um, when, when we seen you go on, 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 on Gabe's, the, on the radar, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's when everybody was kind of like, all right, Tata could hold his own nah, yeah, individually. Yeah, yeah. I think it was 4 one Bop a little bit, too. 4 one Bop, too. 4 yeah. one Bop came yeah. first, but then On the Radar, I really like, she yeah. like, oh, yeah, this nigga wanted on. You know what? Before we get to On the Radar, talk about um, 4 one Bop, how y'all did that. Talk about the process with that. We was all in the studio, feel me? We all in the studio together. And yeah. and um, off record, Eli, what the fuck? We did that shit, gigs, we was all in the studio. Like, yo, let's do 417 for part two. Okay, I was like, nah, let's name that shit something else. He yeah. said 41 Bop. So all of us went crazy, like crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. I like touch, listen to it, set the video up like three days. And then everybody came outside for that shit. Yeah. Rowdy, everybody came outside for that shit. We went viral, bro. Gangster. Absolutely. We, but we really stronger together, like. Yeah, yeah. For me, I agree. I agree. That shit was crazy. Man. That shit just started going by. That shit like a hundred k in a day, and then after that, shit just for me started. That shit like, like three mil right now, some shit like that. Yeah. yeah. And then you go and do um, like, yeah, drop a couple of other songs. See it on the radar. Uh, freestyle, yeah. see red, and then you put the song. That's one of my favorite songs for me. Was he right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that shit went viral. Right. You know, I, I'm curious to know uh, which song. Which song would you say is is your most proudest song and why? My C rap. Yeah. It's crazy how I even made that shit through it. I was just thinking of like lines in the car with me and my son Lotto in the car, gangsta. Yeah. Gangsta, we I we was just rapping and shit, and then I was saying like, how you just on that four year homies is dying? Then this nigga Lotto came and said some shit. I'm like, oh, I'm stealing, I'm using that. He like, yeah, yeah. go crazy. Then we recorded that shit, and then. 
that shit just went viral, bro. Like, it's crazy how that shit went. Gangsta. Remix comes soon, though. Chill. For C Red? Yeah. Okay, who um who did you expect? <laughs> chill, bro. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Big tune, though. You heard? Bet, bet. Um, what's your relationship with uh Asian though? I know it's my heart. Seen, bro. Man, you've seen her work with you, my uh. We really Jen really like put that whole shit together though. You heard? Yeah. Gangsta, cause she hit Jen out of nowhere first. She was listening to fucking Jen shit, and then yeah. she came to the studio at like four in the morning. We was in that shit till like ten a.m. Yeah, yeah. But it's in my heart, like, fuck the music and shit. Like, I really love her, bro. Gangsta, genuinely, like, <laughs> fuck while well, heavy. Tell us uh, the story with D-Bills. You know, I know when when y'all got to Bill, a lot of people, for whatever reason, was kind of under the impression that, like, you know, y'all son kind of left D-Bills. So, no. so tell the story about, about, about D-Bills, if you know. My son, yo, touch, pull up, gang. Pull up, real. We talk about that, gangsta. Yo. Let's do it. Before we start, just let them know who we got on the, on the camera on Pete Films right now. It's good, man. Touch a mill. Uh-huh. KBH, right the bone, right the bone, KBH. You know what it is. The man Let's with the play, word. Bad, bad. Before, before we get into deep build, just, just let them know a little bit about who you are and where you come from and, and what's your role in this whole 4-1 thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man behind the, behind the scenes, man. Man with the plan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, CEO, KBH, right the bone, right the bone, KBH. Same shit, you know how it go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who, who's some of the artists you've, you've worked with in the past and, and how did this all even come to fruition? Um, I work with a lot of artists, like, you know what I'm saying? We trying to open this drill thing up, so yeah. I kind of like put my hands on this drill shit and just trying to like, you know, build the culture mm-hmm. and, you know, feed off that and shit. But um, we started, we got um, Bankroll Boona, Mm-hmm. We did, you know what I'm saying? That's my little brother. We started with Bankroll. We, um, I worked in the past with 1090, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? OP, that's my little bro. You yeah. know what I mean? Free scrap. We got, um, ran around with, with Molly. We did yeah. the Molly situation and shit. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, had my hands on that. Um, alone, we did block work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I grabbed block work, ran into him in the park in Harlem and shit. Mm. Help block with God and shit. Situated him, that's my little brother with God. So, you know, all the shit, you know what I mean? We're going yeah. on, they kids. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm a grown man, so, you know, um, I stay away from all the politics and shit. We was hands on with the shy kid shit, you know, mm-hmm. early on. Get him going, you know what I'm saying? We get his situation, get his deals. You know what I mean? We just, a lot of the labels, they, um, they grab shit when it's bubbling. Okay. You know what I mean? They don't do. Artist development. Yeah. We build shit up from the bottom, from the ground up. We in the streets. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I put my hands on it and make it make make something and nothing into something. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. And we walk them through it and get situations and shit like that. So, you know, we master crafting at what we do. Absolutely. You know so yeah, I was I was just um asking Tata, you know, uh when when four one signed their deal. Yeah. We all kind of expected to see D bills in that situation as well, and it left the 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 critics people to believe that they took three Kyle Jen and um Tata left D bills. You know, no, what's the story ain't no, that? ain't no leaving. You know what I'm saying nobody. Anything is business. Mm-hmm. So, um, at the end of the day, we gotta we gotta build those ben- even though we we building up these kids to be adults in the in the and to show them how to do the business correctly, the business still got to be correct. Yeah. So, um, sometimes, um, damn, I don't really know how to put it. It's like not throwing the parents under the bus, but sometimes, you know, the parents don't really understand the situation. Yeah. So, um, you got to show what you could do and show how you change your lives yeah. for, for people to get on board. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's really what it was. Like, um, for, for for clarity for the people, are you kind of saying like they wouldn't allow him to sign? His parents stopped him from signing with y'all. Or? They just didn't understand, you know, the situation. Like sometimes it's like they look at shit for whatever being said, or they don't. Really My know. mom was like that too, bro. Yeah. yeah. When for me, first baby, she was not because I just got out of a fucked up situation. Mm, okay. So I'm like, mom, for me. But his, his mom's, oh, I love her. She she trusts everything I said I was gonna do. I did. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anything you know, I said I was going to do. You know what it is? A lot of us are not all the way educated on record deals and on contracts. Yeah, so once on we see a contract, we just get angry. We get nervous. Yeah, but yeah. Even, with, even with us, though, with, you know what I'm saying? With me, it ain't even about the contract. Like, mm -hmm. Fuck the that, paperwork. A lot of family. We got to make sure it's in, you know, the, the paperwork is, is, is there. Yeah. But a lot of times, they don't go by that shit and we yeah. don't be on their back. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we got to, yo, certain shit got to tighten up. But for the most part in the beginning, like, they don't be stressing that shit. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? We just make sure it's in, it's, it's in position. But it's like, if you ain't willing to sign the paperwork, you know what I'm saying? And, and believe in what we do, then you ain't willing to make a commitment. I'm going to make a commitment to you. It makes sense. You know I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I did see recently he did sign. What, what, what kind of made his parents grow to trust y'all? Enough for, for him just off, just himself. off of seeing what, what you were able to do. Okay, you got to show and prove. You got to show yeah. people got to see what you were able to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. D, D Bills and Maya was supposed to be a part of the situation. They were oh, supposed okay. to sign the group deal. And, and Maya didn't want to sign either. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of the you know same situation. Same situation. But mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's like you know, I know what I could do. I know what we've been doing. I know what we did time after time. Mm -hmm. We did it numerous times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. It's so long, you know what I'm saying? But I want hey, as long as everybody got their they past situation and you and you go on what you believe in yeah. and you I mean move forward. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I, you know, um while I have you here in touch, I, I kinda want both of y'all perspective on this. Um I don't know if y'all seen the Breakfast Club. Diddy was on there. And um, he, he made comments towards New York drill, um, New York rapping in particular. I ain't even I ain't even seen that shit. Gotcha, I gotcha. I'll get you up to speed. Basically, he's saying, um, he was like, New York, we in last place, you know. Um, How are we in last place? How, bro? His, 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 uh, I guess his reasoning was, we seen, we seen y'all follow Chicago drill. We seen y'all do UK drill. We want to know what can New York do. Where's the authenticity there? You know what I'm saying? Look at Pop Smoke, bro. Yeah. That nigga took that shit, like, global, man. Yeah. Gangsta, at, the like, end of, at the end of the day, you say, where is our authenticity? Like, what, what are you talking about? Oh, mm -hmm. what you used to? Or... Niggas bought a whole new, you know what I'm saying? new whole new wave to, like, drill. It's yeah. legendary. For me? To start something and, and it become a genre. Yeah. Drill became a genre. Absolutely. That shit legendary to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit ain't... They, they made that shit a genre. So at the end of the day, it's like... Man, it is what it is, man. Whatever is feeding your family. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're definitely not in last place, though. Yeah. You know, it, hence, I, I, obviously, Diddy's a legend, a New York legend. But I ain't gonna lie, it kind of bothered me to hear him say that only because when I watch all Yeah, but Diddy audience, ain't in tune. He don't know what's going on. He ain't outside. Mm -hmm. Diddy is where he at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His son ain't even. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's crazy because his son. His rollout was a song with Fabio, so it's kind of like, hey, what is you? How is you? How are we in last place? But your son's rollout was an artist from the the, the subgenre that you're saying is last place. No, you know yeah, what I'm drill definitely not last place. New York tap, definitely not last place. Tap in. He got to tap in. That's all. Man. Somebody just probably got to show him what's really going on, bro. Yeah. Also, I don't know if y'all seen Say Cheese. He said. uh Drill, New York drill is the is is trash. Um, that's the worst subgenre of of rap. Um, and when somebody says something like, "Oh, you better watch out," his response was, "None of them is gonna be Jay Z, Fifty, or Nas, and all that shit." Anyways, you know when you hear things like that, well, everybody got their own opinion, bro. Mm -hmm. I could care less. Yeah, you feel me? Cause that nigga can say, "Oh, this shit trash." It's a Guaranteed it's another person. Yo, this shit fire. This the yeah. best music in the world. Ah, uh, ah, uh, for me, that shit is don't bother me. I listen to a lot of shit. This, this shit is trash, but they got their own. A lot of people got their own fucking fan base cult. Yeah, following or whatever it is. Like, I can't really get in tune to a lot of shit. I don't yeah. listen to Uzi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't listen to, um, what's the dude with the skittle with the, with the regrets and shit? The skittle. Uh, yeah, the little Yachty. Yachty. Yeah. But they got a, a follow. You know what I'm saying? They got the crazy yeah. fan bases. Yeah. I listen yeah. to a lot of drill music though. Music like, is music. Like, gangster. Everybody, you know, everybody, you know, everybody got their own tea. opinion facts. Yeah. Are y'all even concerned about like those pioneers like Jay Z, 
um, 50 and all that. Do, are y'all even concerned with being that dope, you know, filling their shoes or something like that? I, I want to fill my own shoes, bro. I want to, feel me? Bro, not gonna lie, it's probably like older people saying that shit. Yo, you see, yeah. you see, you see, you yeah. just said, yo, filling Jay-Z and 50, right? Yeah. They had to fill somebody with four of them, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody get their time. That's how I look at it. Yeah. What you do with the time. You know what I'm saying? How you set your shit up. Because yeah. rap shit ain't, it's a stage. You know what I mean? That's yeah. all it gets, a platform. Absolutely. Open up other doors. Yeah. But that's what we here for. Gotcha. We here to show them, yo, look, we move like this, we do this. He ain't going out, rest in peace, pop. Yeah. But he ain't going, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't going, he ain't going out like that. Yeah. We ain't doing that. You feel what I'm saying? We gonna show them the right way. Gotcha. But at the end of the day, it's like, we had a, a Wu-Tang, right? Yeah. That was before 50 and them. We had a, even Dipset, we had Dipset, right? They had they run, yeah. it's over. You get that window, you do what you do, and then you set your shit up for whatever you doing after. Gotcha. That's it. Yeah. Different genres of legends too, for me. Yeah. See how they got they, they sell legends, the Jay-Z's and everything, that's for their generation. For yeah. Me. Our generation is different too. Exactly. Newer generation, for me. Gotcha. Now, would y'all, like, with him, with Say Cheese saying that, would y'all ever, like, do an interview with him, or would it? Yeah, I don't think so. Now, would y'all, would y'all defend, you know what I'm saying, y'all, would y'all, like, let's say if he wanted a debate on it, would y'all be open to that? Yeah. Okay. Right, for me? Everybody got their own opinion. It's what yeah. other people, it's what they like. You like that? You like it. You don't yeah. like it, you don't like it. Somebody else gonna like it, somebody else gonna dislike it. Absolutely. Yo, this is a young boy gonna do the own little. Bet, 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 bet. You know what I'm saying? Got you, got you. So um, you know what's 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 next for Tata? You know, like I mean, twenty twenty two. We have two two months left. All for one, one for all. You heard album coming real soon. Okay, okay. That's everybody. All the members on it, or is it your project? No, it's me, Jenna K. Or project. Okay, gotcha. But the guys gonna be on it for a fact. Absolutely. See big features, all that, bro. Drill Nation tape too. Drill Nation tape too for me. Everybody, yo, everybody on the Drill Nation tape. Alright, we gotta give a little bit of who's on that tape. Just for me, that shit's still in the work, but for okay. me, regular four one members on there. The guys that I fuck with for me. Some of the niggas that's in the drill scene right now for me probably gonna be on there. Kenzo Bola. Yeah, Kenzo. That's my son. <laughs> that's Kenzo, Ray, TG. Me, uh, me and Ray got some. Well, me, me and Ray, we did, but we did, we did mad songs and for me. Yeah. Those are the guys. They're bad shit with them. my son, Leaky Jack. Shout out my son, Leaky Jack. I gonna hear about him real soon. My son will be on that for me. J Stark, I mean everybody, bro. That's for me. That shit about to go crazy. Yeah. Last question before we sign out. You know, uh, what does 2023 look like for uh, Tata 401 and Russell 401? That shit gonna look like 2041. You heard? Mm-hmm. That's a fact. It's 2041 forever, man. Let's get. What does that mean to people that don't know? 2041. You heard? <laughs> That's what I should be. We took it over the fucking century, nigga. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you your story. You know that, gang. Appreciate you too, bro. Right. Keep going up and much success to you, you heard? You too, gang. Let's get it.